Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review. And today we're taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends Avengers Endgame Captain America. And I'm so excited about this guy because I love the fact that Hasbro was able to surprise us with this. Literally, they revealed this guy and then next thing you know, people were finding it in stores. I think within 24 hours of the reveal, people were finding it on the shelves in Walmart. So that's really cool when a toy company is able to hide information from us crazy toy collectors that spend all day on the internet looking for toy news. So it's awesome stuff. And before we get too far into this review, I do want to mention that there is Endgame spoilers in this review. If you're one of the insane people that haven't seen Endgame, even though it's been out for two months almost, that's your spoiler warning because this figure does contain spoilers. So anyways, let's get into it. So it's the standard Marvel Legends packaging. It does look nice. You could see the figure. You could see the shield. You could see the extra head. And you cannot see Thor's hammer, which he does come with, but it's hidden behind the shield. If you could see it in there, there we go. And I love that they didn't include the shield i mean the hammer on any of the artwork so that's pretty cool if you didn't know that that was the case with this figure and you know if that'd be how awesome would it be if you were a young kid you picked up a captain america figure opened it up and found thor's hammer man that'd be so exciting but yeah really cool packaging here collector friendly but nothing new on the side we get some cool artwork on the back we get some more artwork and a little description of steve rogers but that's it for the packaging let's look at the figure Okay, so here's Captain America out of the box, and my first impression of this figure is that Hasbro did a really good job. They really outdid themselves. I know a lot of people are saying that he's just a kit bash version of the MCU 10th Anniversary 2-pack Captain America, but I don't, I don't feel like that's true at all. There's a lot of new things on him, and he feels like a completely new figure, so I'm very happy with what we have going on here. So let's take a look at it, starting off with the body. Check out all the detail. I love that they did the chainmail effect, finally. And I love the fact that they even included that in the uh, costume design for the movie because that is so awesome. And one thing that stood out to me right away was how clean the star was because I've gotten several MCU Captain Americas and I always have a problem with the paint on the star, but not here. It looks really good. There's a little bit of sloppiness right there, but it's very, very little. But uh, you could kind of see it pretty good while I'm zoomed in on camera here. But just holding the figure in hand, it's not. it doesn't catch my attention that much. But yeah, look at that sculpt, man. That is really nice. And I really like what they did with these shoulders. You can see that it has like the chainmail type of effect too, or whatever you want to call it. But it's like a soft little shoulder pad that doesn't get in the way of the articulation because it's soft plastic and it just travels over this area here. It just kind of goes like that. So that's really cool. But yeah, I love the sculpt on this figure. I love the build. We have the belt here that's just a floating piece, but... That's okay, that's pretty much the case with all the MCU Marvel Legends Captain America figures. But yeah, the sculpt looks really good. It looks like most of the reused parts are in the lower body, and it looks like this is all a new sculpt. This this might be a reuse, who knows. But yeah, this is definitely all a new sculpt. But yeah, it looks really good. And it does kind of look, you know, a little plasticky in some areas. And that's kind of the case with a lot of MCU figures. So it would benefit from a wash, but you know, it's not too bad. I really like the way that the legs look. I feel like the legs, I wish like I wish the whole body looked like the legs because I feel like the legs look less plastic. I love this costume design and man, this figure just looks great. And let's look at the head sculpt because oh my God, I, I'd say that this is the best Captain America MCU head sculpt that we've seen so far. Look at all the details on the mask and stuff, and the face is spot on to Chris Evans. I think that's the best likeness that we've seen in this scale, and that includes all the import figures. I don't think any of the import figures have given us a head sculpt this good, so check that out. I love the sculpting on the A with the silver paint. It looks amazing. Check out the eyes. The eyes look great. There's just a bunch of detail on that mask. Look at that. That's so dope. And then here's the unmasked Chris Evans head, and man, this thing looks great too. Once again, I'd say that this is probably the best unmasked Steve Rogers head sculpt that we've seen in this scale, including the import stuff. But man, that is so great. They did a good job on this thing. Really good stuff. But yeah, man, I'm so happy with the sculpt and the overall design of this figure. I love the build. I think that it's a perfect build for Captain America. He doesn't look too scrawny or anything like that. It's a very nice looking figure. And aside from the unmasked head, he also comes with a couple of other cool accessories, including his shield. And the shield looks nice. It does have some battle damage. But just like everyone else, I wish he came with the shield that was broken in half like in the movie. I think that would have been great. But the shield does look cool. And I like the style of straps that they went with. This is much better than the one that just has the clip that always breaks. And, you know, it seems to break on every figure when they have that clip thing just in the middle. So this is a lot better. And they use this style on a lot of the MCU caps. And all you have to do to get it on is pull his hand off. 
stick his arm into the straps, put his hand back on, and we're good to go, man. Really easy. And he looks very cool holding on to it. Obviously, he always looks cool with the shields. I think they do a pretty good job with these things. I like the size of it. Look how big it is. That's awesome. And then, of course, we have Mjolnir. And how crazy is it that we get a Captain America figure that comes with Thor's hammer? That That's insane. We live in the craziest times. It's such a good time to be like a comic book nerd. But anyways, this thing does look nice. It looks a little different from previous hammers. This is the hammer that came with the first Marvel Legends MCU Thor figure. You can see it's a little bit smaller and has more detail. But yeah, this new one's perfectly fine. One thing I thought was weird is this little marking. And I, I've seen this on a lot of other people's hammers, too. They all have this little marking, so maybe it was, you know, rushed in production or something, and that was, like, from the mold. I don't know. But either way, the hammer looks fine, and Cap is able to hold it. Stick this in here real quick. And there we go. And he's able to hold it just fine. He has a really tight grip on it. So good stuff. Okay, so now for some quick size comparisons. Here we have them alongside the SH Figure Arts Age of Ultron Captain America and SH Figure Arts Age of Ultron Iron Man. I forget which mark it is, but it's from Age of Ultron. Next, we have them alongside the Figma Captain America and the Marvel Select Group. And then as always, here he is with the Marvel Legends Bucky Cap and Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man. And then next up, we have them alongside the Marvel Legends Infinity War Nomad Steve Rogers and the Marvel Legends uh, Civil War Captain America and you could see the build on this new Captain America is a lot better He looks bigger stronger and more tough So I definitely like the build much more on this new figure versus these these older ones next up here He is with the Marvel Legends Ronin from Endgame and the Marvel Legends Scarlet Witch from the two-pack with Vision And then now here we have them alongside the Marvel Legends Far From Home Spider-Man and then the Mafex Homecoming Spider-Man And now last but not least here he is alongside the SH Figure Arts Infinity War Thanos and the Marvel Legends three-pack Infinity War Thanos Okay, for the articulation on Captain America, there's nothing really special. It's the same basic articulation setup that we've seen on all the Marvel Legends MCU Captain America figures. So it's good, but there's really no surprises or anything like that. But let's get into it. His head is on a ball joint, so it can move side to side. He could look up to right there, but then his hair collides with his collar and then it stops it. But he does look down to right there, so that's pretty good. And then for his torso, he does have a nice crunch. He could crunch forward to right there. He could lean back to right there. And I like the torso joint a lot because it doesn't have the that clicking situation going on. I'm not a big fan of that because then you're kind of caught between those clicks. And that's really the only places you could pose them where those clicks stop. But here it's just a smooth movement, so I like that a lot. And then he has a waist swivel. For his arms, he has ball jointed shoulders that could go all the way around. He can bring his arm out to the side. And as I mentioned before, he does have this really cool shoulder pad thing going on. But you have to be careful because if the shoulder pad has been resting on the shoulder for a while, if you just grab this, it kind of gets caught on the torso piece there. So actually, it does more so on this side. Check that out. So you want to be careful not for it not to catch onto there. So all you got to do is kind of work it, and then it works its way over. So that's cool. And then he does have double-jointed elbows that do not get the best bend but it's decent, his bicep kind of gets in the way, but you still get a little bit more than 90, so that's cool. And then for his hands, you have a swivel and a typical type of hinge here. And then on this side, you have the hinge that like the trigger finger hand, so you could bring his hands up and down, and that's gonna be cool for getting those awesome like hammer swinging poses. And then for his legs, he can bring them out to the side, pretty much do the splits. Bring them forward to right there. Can't really bring them forward too much, actually. Pretty much just get out in front of them. And let's see here. They can only go back to right there. And then you have the upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knees that are pretty good. A swivel at the lower leg. Rocking ankles. And then his feet can go forward to right there. And they could come up to right there. So, like I said, pretty good articulation. You could definitely get him into some cool poses. Okay, so overall, I like this figure a lot. And I'm very happy with what we have going on here. I love the sculpted details and the build of the figure itself. I like the accessories that he came with, especially Mjolnir. I think that's so incredible that we have a Captain America figure that has Thor's hammer. That's just awesome stuff. I do like the shield that he came with, but I do wish that he came with a more movie-accurate broken shield. I think that would have been better. But I think this one is pretty cool. I like the battle damage on it. 
And the two head sculpts that this figure came with are probably the best six inch Captain America movie head sculpts that we've seen so far. So that is awesome stuff. And yeah, man, this thing is just great. I know that I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with it and taking pictures and stuff like that. And also, I just love that Hasbro hit us with the element of surprise. I think that adds a lot to the enjoyment of this figure. So that's just good stuff. And I haven't been able to find this figure myself. This was actually sent to me by someone on Instagram by the name of Fitz Jedi. And it was just so awesome of him to hook me up with this guy. So huge. Huge, huge shout out to you, David. Thank you so much for giving me this figure. And he actually gave it to me as a gift, which was unnecessary, but greatly appreciated. Thank you so much, man. I'm so happy and excited to have this figure, and it's thanks to you. So I really do appreciate it. But yeah, man, I'm, I, this figure is awesome. And I, I just, I, you know what? I don't have the SH Figure Arts Endgame Captain America, but I do plan on getting it. And I do plan to do a comparison between those these two figures. And I'm going to be really interested to see if if uh, the Endgame, the SH Figure Arts, version is better than this one because i wouldn't be surprised if this one tops it man this is such a good figure but uh anyways we'll see if, we'll see if i'm able to do that down the road here but yeah thank you so much for checking out the review please be sure to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff and that's it peace <laughs>